Hi Capricorn and welcome to your March 2024 horoscope. March has way less Pluto energy than the beginning of 2024 did. So that's perhaps good news, especially if you were really going through it with all the Pluto transits. However, March does also signal the beginning of eclipse season. So it might be that the universe still has a couple of tricks up its sleeve for you. Let's go ahead and get into what you can expect day by day. On March 3rd, Venus in your second house is squaring Uranus in your fifth house. You might have been focusing a lot of your time and energy on building your self-confidence and a lot of that might have been through focusing on um, having secure financial situation for yourself. Perhaps you've been working quite a lot so you can bring in a lot of money and help uh, build a feeling of security for yourself. But this might be making it really difficult for you to also have fun, to also spend time uh, doing things that bring you joy, to spend time on your hobbies, for example. On March 5th, Mars in your second house is sextiling and trining the North and the South node in your 10th and 4th house. Especially as you've been building more courage and confidence in yourself, especially as you've been doing the hard thing, uh, earning more money and um, yeah, build, building up yourself in, um, in this way. You might also feel this push uh, away from others and what they perceive from you of, or of you and towards what you think of yourself. Uh, how you regard yourself and whether you're uh, living in line with your own values. On March 9th, Mars in your second house is squaring Uranus in your fifth house. This could potentially be quite an explosive day because we're talking about Mars and Uranus, two explosive planets that are in friction with each other. They have a square aspect between them. And especially for you, Capricorn, this could mean that you are grasping for so much control in your financial situation, so much control in terms of building up uh, your self-confidence in yourself, that you end up creating even more disbalance um, in regards to your day-to-day -day life. Uh, you know that you're sort of working extreme hours and you uh, forget to have any joy anymore in your life. On March 10th, we have a new moon in Pisces in your third house. A new moon is a new beginning, and this time the new moon is conjunct Saturn, which brings a very serious note to it. Because this is happening in your house of local community, in your house of neighbors and siblings, it could be that you are starting a new approach in how you interact with your neighbors or your siblings. And because Saturn is there in the mix, um, it shows that you're setting like a really uh, a regiment in place for it. You know, this could look like, hey, I want to start feeling closer with my siblings. So I'm going to say every Saturday at 7 p.m., we are going to have a call where we, we talk about our week. Because Pisces is the sign in your third house and the sign of this new moon, I highly suggest following your intuition. If you get an inkling or a feeling that you should reach out to a certain sibling or a certain neighbor, or that you should do something in a specific way, then please do follow it. On March 11th, Venus enters your third house or the sign of Pisces. So we talked about this routine that you've set uh, where you're calling your siblings Saturday at 7 p.m. in order to feel closer. And with Venus entering this house, you're also thinking about how you can make it more beautiful and more harmonious. So it could be that when you are calling with your sibling, you're also nibbling on some really nice food, or you also have some really gentle, calming music playing in the background. 
on March 20th, the sun enters Aries or your fourth house. So even though you still have a lot of energy in your third house for the rest of March, the sun entering your um, area of family and home does slowly show that we are shifting into that area. We're shifting our focus away from our siblings and neighbors and a little bit more towards our home our family, and also our um, internal home, the place inside that feels safe and secure. If you feel a little bit lackluster from the 20th onwards, you feel a little bit unmotivated, unenergized, it could be that you aren't giving enough attention to your family and home. On March 21st, Venus in your third house is conjunct Saturn. So even though they're quite different from each other, Venus and Saturn are going to ask each other hard questions. We gave the example earlier that you were calling your sibling at seven o'clock on Saturday to have a, a nice conversation and to get closer to them. Saturn is going to ask Venus, hey, is having gentle music in the background really a meaningful way to make this experience more enjoyable? And perhaps it's not. Perhaps Saturn says, you're right. You know, how I'm going to make this experience more beautiful is by telling my sibling with my words how much I appreciate them and giving them some words of encouragement. Likewise, Venus is going to ask Saturn, hey, do we really have to be so regimented and only talk to our siblings on Saturday at 7 p.m.? And Saturn's going to say, no, actually, you're right. Maybe we can loosen that up. And if sometimes I feel like calling them on Wednesday, then I will do it on Wednesday instead. On March 23rd, Mars also enters Pisces or your third house. The way I really see this playing out is you have this new insight that the conjunction between Venus and Saturn brought to you. And as a result, you feel so re-energized, so like re-motivated to continue uh, exploring your relationships with your siblings or with your neighbors. And uh, Mars entering your third house is really showing that re-energizing feeling. On March 24th, we have Venus in your third house, sextiling Jupiter in your fifth house. All of the beautiful effort you've been putting in your relationship with your neighbors or your siblings is all of a sudden helping you get back in touch with all of the things that bring you joy in your life, uh, all of the hobbies that you might have. You just might feel more uh, excited and it might feel more intuitive to start bringing those types of activities back into your life again. On March 25th, there's a full moon in Libra in your 10th house. Because the north and the south node are 10 degrees away from the sun and the moon, this full moon is also a partial lunar eclipse. So this is the start of eclipse season. Notice if anything happens during this eclipse or a few days before, or a few days after, because it might be a theme that continues to play out during all of eclipse season. And for you specifically, Capricorn, it's asking you to reconsider whether the balance between focusing on presenting an image of yourself to the outside world is in balance with taking care of your inner world and all of the emotions that you might be going through in there. And we close off the month on March 28th with Venus in your third house, sextile and Uranus in your fifth house. Because you have so much beauty and connection and meaningfulness um, that you're establishing, that you're getting from your relationships with your neighbors or your siblings, it's making it a lot easier for you to deal with some of the crazy sort of ups and downs that you experience with just doing things for fun that you might not always have time for. 
uh, the crazy schedule that you have where sometimes you don't get to have any fun for a long time and, and sometimes you do. Um, because you have this stronger budding relationship, you feel like you can handle that uncertainty and that um, chaotic schedule a little bit easier. So overall, Capricorn. If you've wanted to get a bit closer uh, or even just change your relationship in some way, it doesn't have to be closer. Maybe you're too close and you want to pull away a little bit. But if you've wanted to alter your relationship uh, lately with your neighbors or with your siblings, March is a great time to do so. It's also the start of eclipse season, so it might be a good idea to start to gently withdraw from maintaining an image in the eyes of others and focus more on the image you have of yourself. I hope you enjoy March. Let me know down in the comments if you're excited to uh, change up your relationships with your neighbors and siblings. And if you want to make sure you catch the April horoscope, then make sure you subscribe. I hope to see you again soon.